There is so much happening here right now. Let's start with the very, very the base. Are you okay, Al? Okay, so, so if you look right down, there's, there's the dirt. Yeah, so just below this concrete pad, there's about six inches of granular fill. And then on top of that, there's 11 inches of concrete. This is the concrete base that we're on. Once the rails are set on the ties and the ties properly positioned, both in elevation and in curvature, then there's an infill layer of concrete, about nine inches. And then once that is in place and the, and the rails are set, then there's about another seven inches of concrete on top of that, just to bring the concrete flush with the top of the rails. So all told, there's about 28 inches of concrete. This is fairly substantive. Yeah, because if you look at the, at the concrete right here, right. so this is, what is that? That's the roadway. This is, this is part of the roadway here right now. Uh, now, everything is intricate. This is not a matter of, you know, throw, throw the rails down and uh, hope the streetcar fits. Every, the angles, everything is, is intricate. Yeah, so this is carefully surveyed with our crews and the TTC. As you can see what's happened now, uh, initially when we broke up the concrete, removed the old rail, then the next work is then to basically set the base and, and, uh, and then the concrete base as well. And then the TTC crews have essentially assembled, pre-assembled the rail on the ties. And you can see that work taking place here. Take a look at all this, folks. I mean, you've got, like, you've got the rail, you've got the ties, the cement, but then you have all the wiring that goes into it in, in very specific spots for switches, just simply to power the rails. Because what a lot of people don't realize is that the rail is, is so, it's one part right. of a circuit. So this has to be electrified as well. Uh, exactly. And this is, this is the work of the TTC with their con Conduits. conduits have to be established, put, set in place, properly placed. As you can see here, this intersection with all the rails and the different switches, probably one of the most intricate rail projects that we've done in the city. Um, you can see it's a major intersection with, uh, with quite a complex rail system. It is phenomenal. I just need, guys, I need a, a shovel or a pickaxe. What, what do you got? I need a shovel or a pickaxe. Bring, bring, a shovel, bring a shovel over here, a shovel. Uh, just a small one, just a small one. I'm going to redig. I'm, I'm going to change the alignment. I think people at Ryerson will be happy the streetcar went all the way up, Victoria. I think so. But no, oh, here we go. That's good. All right. Here we go. Because what we're going to do right now, I asked, I already asked permission to do this, so we're going to be okay. What, what's your name? Tony. Tony. Tony, I need you to come over here. Uh, and I need just a little hole right there. I'm going to bury a lucky toonie. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. They're going to bury a lucky toonie. So I need a hole. Good. Yeah. So give me a, give me a, all right. Okay. okay. Ready? All right. There it goes. Can you see it? Yep. All right. Bury it. There you go, Tony. That's the lucky toonie. That's going to make sure everything goes along problem free. Fantastic. We appreciate that. If it worked for Team Canada, it can work it's for us. It can work for us as well. It's Absolutely. not a loony, though. I mean, it's inflation. It's tuna, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Michael D'Angelo. And you know, Tony, honestly, yes. to you and the crew, uh, such, I've been watching such an incredible job that you guys have been doing here. Absolutely incredible.